what exactly are open standards and how do they integrate with open technologies themselves? And have the traditional standards development organisations and the various open source communities found common ground to support the future requirements of open networking? Three years ago, it was oh, open source versus open standards, okay? We came in and we came out with a white paper on how to harmonize that. And to the credit of STOs, everybody stepped up. They worked with us collaboratively. And over the last couple of years, we have seen a drastic change in both camps. Okay? We have had uh, colla formal collaboration, legal and marketing and code with MEF, TM Forum, you know, we have we have had Etsy specs uh, both at the ISG level of NFE, uh, ZSM as well as MEC. Um, we've had uh, you know 3GPP work that is that is kind of being done, uh, and a whole variety of other standards that that are very actively uh, being uh, coded in the in the uh, open source community. We in Etsy are trying to learn a little bit more on how these communities work, and I think we've gone quite a good way forward. Uh, we've been able to uh, liaise with these communities, have our standards people working together hand in hand with the uh, open source communities. And on top of that, we're trying now to develop some kind of new working methods that go align with how these communities work. So all, all this together should help us be more flexible, be faster, be more time to market. And that, that's what we're trying to achieve. The mandate we gave to both parties is if a standard exists, code it. If it does not exist, code it and then push it upstream to the standards. And we are here to support you on that. If you put it in that terms, it's very simple, right? Now, devil's in the details, but uh, uh, I'm really excited that uh, the standards groups have stepped up, the open source groups have stepped up, and you know the collaboration is in full swing. And you will see even more of this uh, as kind of the RAN and the software-defined radios and the ORAN uh, portions come in. And you know, we are we're hosting the software portion for that at the Linux Foundation. So we will be looking at even a broader areas of standards and open source collaboration. From an open source standpoint, we always have the motto, if a standard exists, we use it. If a standard doesn't exist, we go and forge our own way because we're not going to wait. Uh, but we want some way to actually get that back into a standards organization. That's one of the things that's been changing over the last two years, is that kind of relationship. The recognition of the need for that feedback from some standards organizations and them actually building it into their process to be able to consume information about the implementation and the way things need to change or a new standard that is necessary because open source has been leading the way. Because we've moved to software, it opened the doors for everybody to get involved. So open source and, and everybody and, and everybody came up with their own solutions at first and said, we we got an MV. And, and now the thing, the problem is that the building block, uh, Lego block approach is not working so well because they're not working together. They're not playing nice. So now it's coming back towards, okay, let's converge. Let's try to make this a unified system so you do get the economies of scale. You do get that Lego block mentality of, okay, I can replace this with that. Everything works. We're not there yet, but I think the industry has realized we need to get there and we're all talking about going in the same direction. When we were talking about this five years ago, um, it was really the case that, well, there was a reasonable amount of hype that said, well, we don't, won't ever need standards anymore. We'll just be doing this stuff in code and, and we'll go from there. But that's not really the way this works, right? It's never going to be a one, a one size, a one application, a one platform fits all. We're good at, at, at we, meaning Etsy and Avi, the, the standards, are good at writing the blueprints, specs kind of documents, and, and they take a pretty global view of things. And sometimes open source, they want to implement. So it, we, we can be kind of like a phase one to them. And then, or otherwise right now, like ONAP and Etsy and AV, a convergence, where they, they both started trying to do the same thing. And then hopefully there, there will be a convergence where a, a unified system can be done. Standards have the benefit of looking at a problem very holistically. And you don't get that in open source. Right? At least not in the beginning. <laughs> you might get it eventually, but that means that you've tripped over problems for many, many times that you can avoid if you actually implement it through a standard. So I find that the standards bodies do indeed serve their users well. Um, and the addition of open source to this, again, is an augmentation to the process, not a replacement of. I think it'll be 
a more unified ecosystem that still allows for a lot of innovation. But the parts where things talk to each other will converge, which and that's what's important, the interoperability of all those components that we're dreaming up right now. And it still allows for innovation. Okay, so open standards, open implementations and all that, if they converge such that they can talk to each other, it's a better world and it serves all the products and the industry better through uh, economies of scale, et cetera, et cetera.